Hey Smogon, this is Spark the Fuse here, and I have for you a uh, RNG abuse guide uh, for use with the action replay for the DS. Um, although this is one of the action replays that you have to uh, continuously uh, put in and pull out uh, to load your game, I actually find that it does benefit sometimes um, by having the ability to hatch your egg faster and uh, um, calculate IVs regardless of what Pokemon you catch. Uh, so for starters, what we're going to need is RNG Abuse, uh, or the RNG Reporter. Uh, this is created by Mingot at Smogon. Um, for more information, go Google it again. Uh, or check out Smogon, I'll put the link in the side. You're also going to need a website called Elmloop. Um, you can just Google this as well, or you can use the link provided here. Like, pause the video and write that down, or just Google it, it's probably faster. And uh, so, for initial calibration... Uh, which is what we're going over right now. You're going to need to set the frames in this box here to 3600. And that will give you exactly one minute, and I will explain why we need that later. Second, what you're going to need to do is you're going to take your uh, DS, have your action replay close by, and you're going to save in a grassy area. Now, this isn't really 100% necessary. It just helps when you get right into the game, so you can just catch Pokemon right away and not have to worry. And um, uh, if you ha don't already have just five Pokemon in your party, I, I would also recommend having five Pokemon in your party so you don't have to run to the PC and uh, figure out uh, the IVs from there. You can just have it right in your party and it'll be mighty convenient. So, first thing we're going to do is shut the DS off. And this is just a personal touch that I like. Um, I like to remove my Pokemon Platinum and just put it aside. What you're going to need to do now is turn your DS on and you're gonna go reset the minute. Now, uh, the reason we're doing this is because with Elm Loop on exactly a minute from now, you can know exactly when you've entered the game. And so what this does is it tells you how many seconds you have exactly off of an even minute, uh, and that it will be your delay in frame range. So, in my case, I'm gonna set the clock for 1807. So, because uh, my Elm Loop is one minute later from 1807, I know, or 60 seconds later, I know that I will enter the game at 1808 every single time. So I can open up the RNG Reporter, click uh, Diamond uh, Pearl Platinum Seed Finder, uh, input the month, date, year, and I can put this at 1807. 18... 18... Oh, oh, 1808, I should say, because that's one minute later from 1807. So what you do is you go back to Mloop and you hover your mouse uh, right on top of the start button. And what you want to do is you have to try and push the A button on the DS and the button on the screen uh, as close together as you can, prefer preferably, like, exactly at the same time. And um, that is step one, so just watch and I'll show you where to go from there. So you click both at exactly the same time. It's gonna say settings saved. Uh, exit this menu and pop in your action replay. This is why I, I said before I'd recommend taking out Pokemon Platinum because instead of having to take the game out and uh, waste precious seconds you can just pop your action replay right in and you don't have to worry about anything. So you let that load up and uh, you go select the codes. Now the reason I say select the codes is because if you have your codes preloaded you're going to get a different time every time you enter the game because if for some reason it seems to load the game at different intervals. Now, when this timer reaches zero, you want to click the start button on your action replay. Uh, you have to do this as consistently as possible almost exactly when that timer hits zero. And uh, the reason we do this is because this will sync our game exactly in at 1808 like we said and it'll give us the uh, seconds in frame delay. So here we go. Oh, okay, I missed a little bit. But, uh, anyway, you get the idea. Now, mash A as quick as you can, and, uh, just get in the game really quickly. <sighs> there, okay, I'm in the game. So, now that you're in the game, just go catch yourself a Pokemon. Can be any Pokemon, except for any wandering NPC. That would be Zap, well, any of the three birds, uh, Cresselia or Mesprit. Um, 
So just catch any wild Pokemon. I'm just going to catch this Ponyta. And uh, while that Pokemon's being caught, you can open up your RNG reporter. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to take the uh, IVs of uh, these two, or of this caught Pokemon, and we're going to put them in here. Um, to do this, uh, as I put on, the codes I like to put on are fast hatch and IV check every time, just so uh, I'm always doing the same thing. Um, so you check the nature and the IVs of your Ponyta, or whatever you caught. Mine is a Ponyta. So we, ha I have a careful Ponyta that has 10 HP, 7 attack, 23 defense, 0 special attack, 5 defense, and 22 speed. So what you do is you take all these stats and you put them in your RNG reporter. Now I'm going to do that right now. So it is a careful Ponyta. So I'm going to make that careful. And it's got... 10, 7, 23, 0, 5, 22. And with all of that put in, you click Find. And this is going to give you two numbers. The first number is the number of seconds it takes you to get into the game. The second number is the frame delay, which is pretty much the same thing as seconds. But you're going to need both individual numbers uh, later on for when we actually start to abuse for IVs. Um, I recommend doing this test at least 10 more times to see how consistently you can hit what delay. And uh, the delay you hit the most is going to be the delay you get uh, every time you play. So uh, now that is how you calibrate your game. Uh, stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to actually abuse for IVs. So thanks and en enjoy and ha a happy IV uh, breeding.